Hello everyone, it's a snow day. And I really wanted to film a snow day reading vlog, which is just going to be me reading and journaling and doing all the snow day stuff. But firstly, here's my dog. We just played outside in the snow and so he's tired now. And I will definitely get some footage of him playing in the snow later for the vlog. Um, because he is obsessed with it. It's so fun. Also, like, I'm wearing this pimple patch in my chin. Full disclosure, if you see something weird. Um, I highly recommend them for pimples, but since I am working today, um, so the this reading vlog will take place in, on my breaks. And so I'm just going to start off my day. I think I'm going to light the candle um, that smells like Christmas. And... Just like I just like love having this view and seeing all the snow. It's so pretty and perfect. And then I will tell you about my reading plan for the day. So I'm in the middle of two books right now. No, three books right now. I'm in the middle of Court of Mist and Fury. Still haven't finished that. I would potentially maybe finish that today, but I really want to focus on my like, you know, snow day book. And then I'm in the middle of what's it called? Poison Princess or something like that. It's a follow to the Princess Ballot, which is like the smut I read on Kindle Unlimited. It's fine. It's really quick to read, but I am kind of like over it. And now it's like all wintry and snowy. Like I'm in the mood for a whimsical. I'm not really in the smut mood anymore. So I just kind of want to finish that. And then I'm reading The Girl Who Drank the Moon by Kelly Barnhill, and that's on audio. And I'm reading Want to Take My Dog on a Walk. And I think that is the thing that has gotten me in the mood for more whimsical middle grade books. So I have this middle grade book that I've had for like almost a year now and I have not read it yet and I just feel like now is the time like I'm in the mood for that kind of like feeling. Bookshelf and there's my tree in the back. I'm going to start Keepers of the Lost City by Shadow Messenger and this book I picked up in the store because it just gave me this childhood nostalgia feeling and I, I don't know what about it did maybe like it reminded me of a book I read as a kid but I don't know I so I want to read it and I've heard that the series is amazing um Reagan from Peru's Project who's like I always love her fantasy recommendations she always has such great fantasy recommendations we have similar tastes said that she really loves this it's about this girl named Sophie and I think she discovers that she is a she's a telepath so she can hear the thoughts of everyone around her and it actually means that she's like an elf so come along for my journey on my snow day as I do fun snow day things. day also i decided i'm gonna make a book talk today this could be a disaster but it feels like the new platform and i'm not like that old yet so i want to be with the times you know so uh we'll see how this goes <laughs> what are you doing? It's time for our ugly sweater contest at work. Um, I forgot my ugly sweater at like in my office. It's like in my locker from last year. So um, I have these reindeer antlers that I will be wearing to the party. And Gavin has matching ones. Also, like they jingle. <laughs> he wants to bite them.
because I I am reading and I did finally start my book Keepers of the Lost City and so I'm so far on page 47 kind of the thing that's nice about reading middle grade is it seems like you're reading so fast because there's not that many words per page so it makes me feel like a speedy reader but I'm really actually enjoying it so far like the vibes are really cool so we have this girl Sophie and she can hear minds and she's like you know doesn't think she's normal but you know as far as she knows she's human and then this boy shows up and he's like we've been looking for you for 12 years she's like what and it turns out that she's an elf but elves are like not what people think they are and she's like oh is this magic and the boy Fitz is like no magic isn't real just humans perception of reality is different than what you think it is and you use magic to explain it and I thought that that is such an interesting concept to not use magic but like perceived realities I guess especially like in a kid's book so I don't know I just think that that's really cool and Sophie's like being seen as like really smart and she's like a high school senior but she's 12 and yeah so like I'm just really enjoying this I think I'm gonna fly through it just because it is you know like a middle grade but I feel like I'm just gonna really love this series and it is giving me like these nostalgic feelings and just something about like this magic of I don't know like this middle grade time that like age range that this is targeted towards like that's like the age when I really love reading you know like when I would go to Barnes and Noble go to the kids section and like get cool books so I don't know and I feel like as readers even as adults like we should be reading in all different spectrums of books not even like diverse in terms of voices and um genres but also age ranges too right because like just because it's written for kids doesn't mean that adults can't enjoy it so there's just something magical about kids books and middle grade so I like really really have not been wanting to read a middle grade for like like there was no time and point where I'm like I'm gonna read a middle grade until now because I randomly started reading the girl who drank the moon on audio and it just like clicked something in me that I'm like oh I think I will really like the genre and I had bought this book a while ago because it, it did call to me in the bookstore so I'm glad to have started it and look at my cool bookmark it's a photo card so my friend court makes custom photo cards your favorite k-pop idols if you're curious i'll leave her shop info down below this is nyan from twice so it's fun to use those as bookmarks and i'm just gonna get cozy we're getting chipotle for dinner i'm gonna read i am gonna go to the gym at some point which is why my hair is up like this and i just kind of look like a mess and then come back like, i'm gonna make hot cocoa read some more update you on my reading progress and yeah i just figured this could be like a one day chill snow day kind of vlog it might be pretty short but i don't know i just kind of want to try it with a short form type vlogging because i've never done just a one day vlog i've always done vlogs that were like at least a few days even if they were short or sometimes they like take place over like a month i don't know i'm like all over the place but that's fine think any snow day is complete without hot chocolate i got this yesterday just with a snowstorm dark chocolate my favorite flavor and i have my favorite mug here which is from barnes and noble but it's actually from epic reads and i'm gonna use some almond milk that i have here warm it up first but well, i think i put the cocoa in and then warm it up let's uh, it says that you should like add hot water or hot milk to it so i'm just going to Warm up the milk first and then add the cocoa in.
That's a good cup of hot chocolate. Chocolate? I remember when they invented chocolate. I've always hated it. Okay, I'm really impressed. The lighting under my cabinets is like really good. It almost looks like ring light writing. Like ring ring light lighting. So I guess I'll give my update here since the light is good. I have been reading Keepers of the Lost City and I'm obsessed with it. Like I actually don't want to put this down. It's so easy to read because it is middle grade, but like I'm just really drawn into this world and we're about to go to a magical academy and it's so interesting to see like how Sophie is dealing with the fact that she has to leave her family behind and like join the world of the elves and like I don't know I just can't really see myself falling in love with this series and I really like that because I haven't had a middle grade series do that for me since like Harry Potter and I have been trying to catch up on Percy Jackson and I do really want to do that that might be a 2021 goal I'm gonna make a 2021 goals spreadsheet in my bullet journal um but yes, I'm really, really excited to read this. And I have the second book and I might just like order the rest of the series and read them over break. Maybe I'll order them to my parents' house. Christmas present for me, for me. So yeah, I'm gonna just chill and read and I will update you guys. And this is only gonna be the only day in the vlog, so... Yeah, I only read one book, but I feel really good about it, and I got some good snowy day footage, so I hope you guys enjoyed. The whole point of this was to follow me along on my cozy day, but it's not over yet. It's two in the morning and I actually finished this book. It's like a 400 page book, but it's middle grade. So it's really easy to read and the font's definitely like bigger, you know. Um, but I loved this. Like it was just so whimsical and a really cool world. Elves definitely different than I've ever seen them before. And I definitely want to continue on with the series. I already have the second one. I'm going to buy the third and the fourth one. And I might just like binge the series because I love it. Like I... And it actually made me cry. Books don't make me cry very often, but there was just like this touching <laughs> tears. I don't know, I just thought it was so, so well done. I feel like I'm gonna need to explore middle grade more in 2021 because I really, really enjoyed this. Like it was just really great. And everything that happened like was still like still kept me engaged, even though I'm an adult and I'm reading middle grade, you know? Like it was just really good. Um and when I just checked Libby, my um, rental for Ace of Shades just came through, so I'm going to be reading that next, and then I'll move on to the next Keepers of Velocities Exile. So I'm going completely off my TBR for December, but I have like all like romance books on my TBR, and I'm not in the mood for them anymore, but I do want to finish off the one smut that I was reading, because I don't want to like leave it unfinished, and then I'll like maybe go back and finish that series like i don't know it's just like something easy quick to read like every now and then but like wow like i just feel like so like invigorated and ready to read and like this was definitely what i needed and it was perfect for the snow day so thank you for coming along on this little snow day adventure with me and have some fun reading the books and i'll catch you guys in the next one